Okay, I want to take on a viewer request today. Now, this is from a viewer that asked me a question about going masks. It was during the middle of one of my live streams. I had a bit of a pile up going at the time, so uh, I didn't really spend a lot of time on it. And I didn't fully understand exactly what he was getting at. It kind of went over my head a little bit. So um, he's followed that up with a comment on one of my videos. Now, this was on um, a short, which I filmed. It was one of my really early ones a few years ago. Um, I'll put a link down below. But um, basically, a quick reminder of how I guy my mask for portable operations. So we're talking uh, lightweight hiking, soda, etc. So I use a hose clamp, and I've got a bit of aquarium tube, which I've measured to the diameter of the pole, minus the mechanism on the top here to close up the uh, hose clamp. And then I've got my pole here, and I literally just slide that over the top of my pole and uh, I've got three guy ropes on here and I've got this set at just the right diameter so that I can slide it down until it butts up if you can see it on camera the join between the two between the lower mast section and the second mast section so it's um I guy it very low and the problem with that is if you imagine this being guyed where my left hand is with this bottom bit stuck in the ground or sat on the ground you got the full seven meters of the mast up here blowing in the wind so it it's going to try and make the bottom of that mast slide out sideways so you do need these guy ropes reasonably tight i pin them down with tent pegs um this is what i would consider a very temporary solution it's fine for a quick half hour soda activation for something permanent, I'd consider you'd need something a bit more secure. But that's how I do it. Now, the question my viewer had was, um, how long are these guy ropes? So I've got a tape measure here. Let's measure it. Now, I just did this by sight, to be honest. I didn't actually uh, work out or measure exactly how long I needed. But mine measure in at one meter 60 centimeters which um for those of you that want it in old money you're just over five foot about 63 inches so um that is the temporary solution for um something like a poter activation um now he also asks about a 12 meter spider beam and this is quite handy because on the um, Spider Beam's website, there is actually a PDF document you can download which shows you the recommended lengths of the ropes for guying. And I'll put a link to that down below. But if we move the cameras around, I'll give you a screenshot so you can see what I'm actually looking at here on the screen. Now, we're on the Spider Beam website, shop.spiderbeam.com. And you can use this for either Spider Beam or DX Commander Mask. I've had both. I actually prefer the DX Commander Mask. They're a little bit, uh, a little bit more robust and uh, a little bit cheaper as well. But uh, this will work with either. So you're going to go to Construction Guides, Tips and Technical Data here. And then if you scroll down, what you're going to find is this little PDF here, going instructions for fiberglass masks. So you're going to download that. And we'll open that. And that's opened on my other screen. So if I drag that up onto this screen so you can see it, whoopsie daisy. Hang on. There we go. Now this shows you um, how to guy or recommended going positions for all the spider beam masks so you got the 12 meter uh you got the they're 14 uh 18 i think they got a 22 and a 26 meter as well now my viewer specifically asked about the 12 meter so we're looking at this one now spider beam say you should guide this just above the seventh section of masks so around the eighth section uh they do do a, a accessory guying belt you can just use a hose clamp with a bit of rubber hosing on it like i did for the uh, smaller mast uh, this is roughly about seven meters up the mast and the p 
pegs which you're going to your uh, stakes in the ground as it were are about five to six meters out which gives you roughly about 10 meters rope length now i'd actually put a bit more than that in there to uh, compensate because you've got to tie a loop in the end of your rope up here where it attaches to the mast you've also got to tie a loop to put it onto your guy stake down here so uh, give yourself a little bit of extra rope to play with so that is what spider beam recommend and this like i say this will work with the dx commander master as well in the absence of this guide the best advice i can give you is i was always taught to think of it as a three four five triangle so in other words it's a ratio so three across the bottom to four vertically to five horizontally so if this bottom was three meters that would be four meters and diagonally that would be five meters and uh, you can scale that up so say we doubled that in size we had six meters across the bottom you'd have about eight meters up and uh, about 10 meters across so we're actually not far off the, within about a meter or so of the dimensions that spider beam recommends so uh, hopefully that gives you a rough guide hopefully that's beneficial and uh, points you in the right direction just one really quick editorial note which i forgot to include in the video earlier one thing to remember is these masks these fiberglass masks are push fit so all that's holding these up is a interference fit now when you have the guy ropes on here they will pull sideways as well as downwards so uh, it will tend to want to collapse the mast in on itself now most uh, manufacturers certainly uh, Callum at DX Commander and uh, Spider Beam they do clamps to go around these masts which you just clamp on it stops it collapsing so you're going to want that certainly at the points below where the guy is where the guy ropes are attached otherwise there is a chance this mast could collapse in on each other so uh, you will want the uh, clamps hold up clamps whatever the uh, manufacturers call them to keep the mast up so uh, there we go I, I think that answers your question anything else let me know